is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the podcast. We are here today with a very very special guest that you've seen on the show. Not on this show, but on the Miles Four podcast, as it will. Gave us a record-breaking three-hour podcast uh, with his buddy Wyatt, and uh, Lucio was there as well. Uh, this is, and you should know him, the man, the myth, the legend, Aaron Frame. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about a. I don't know about legend, but I'll take a myth and I'll take a man. <laughs> um, I appreciate you guys letting me come back on here, man. Like, like I was just saying right before uh, we started to hit record. I love you guys' platform. I love what you guys do. The passion you guys have. It's it's second to none. And I think you guys really set a standard in the haunt community and uh especially in the haunt community of, you know, real true fandom. And we as workers and fans, you know, appreciate that. That is very kind of you to say that. I I, I, I don't know about setting the standard because we're kind of like, hey, we're gonna go do this. If you wanna watch it, go for it. But if you don't, yeah. well, <laughs> you know, it's there. So <laughs> Yeah, I, I respect the humbleness, but uh, you guys got you guys got the views. You know, you got the platform. I don't hey. see a lot of people out there doing that. So take your take your flowers, yeah. guys. We're trying every day, man. We're yeah. we're trying to we're trying we, to. We'll take it. We'll... Go ahead, Sam. I can say we can take what we get. We'll take what we get. We will we'll, <laughs> we'll say thank you. Oh yeah, thank you. So we we may not agree, but we'll thank you nonetheless. That's all right. Uh, I'll speak I got for one you. question though, Aaron. Are you ready yeah. to party? Bro, it's always a party, man. Are you ready to party? Or- yeah, always I'm always party. ready to party, bro. It's a party. Every day is a party. Always ready to party, man. And everyone's invited, you know? Mm-hmm. A-, a lot's happened <laughs> uh, since we last yeah. saw you, obviously. Uh, changes in the world and everything. Uh, I I, I, I want to start by this. Uh, I-, I found it funny in the very beginning of the pandemic where uh, you guys were doing your, uh, your weekly PowerPoint presentations. <laughs> Talk to me yeah. a little bit about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I I, uh, I should mention Wyatt here, who was on with the last podcast or the last uh, um, episode that that we did. Uh, he had a great idea of just the friend group staying together and through through Zoom, uh, doing PowerPoint presentations on whatever we wanted. Right. Um, and uh, I, it's I mean, obviously, you guys saw at least some of the ones we did, and super entertaining, super fun. It was a good way to stay connected during the pandemic, you know, and especially at the beginning when no one knew what was going on. <laughs> Right. So it was fun and creative and got, I, man, dude, some of the things that those guys did, I thought mine were pretty good. I don't want to be boastful. I thought mine were pretty funny. But some of those other guys, they had some really funny stuff too. So uh, it was, it was for everybody, you know, for everyone. It's still on my Instagram profile. I think like under the same stories, right? Uh, just as I look at it once in a while, I get a laugh, but the responses were good. Is there plans of, uh, you know, since it, it hasn't, I haven't seen it in a while. Is there plans of maybe bringing it back? Uh, well, I think now we're at the point where, uh, we go outside and we see each other now, either <laughs> some of, you know, we've been tested or, you know, we're wearing masks and staying safe and everything like that. Like everyone hopefully is doing, uh, but now that we're not stuck inside, I think we don't, you know, that's kind of why we don't do them as much anymore. Gonna, now we just laugh for real in person. Going to have a full blown, like, Hey, you know, one day he's just going to show up and be like, listen, remember when we used to do these PowerPoints? Now we can do them in person. Let's, <laughs> let's bring that back. Now that those were those were there was a lot of funny ones. I remember that. Thanks, much. man. That first one I did about how to stay stoked during quarantine got retweeted by a bunch of like frat pages and stuff. <laughs> so it blew up on Twitter without me really knowing about it. So hopefully some people got some laughs out of that. That's great. Did you did you have a what were your top three? Uh of, of staying stoked during quarantine. Oh man, uh I I did I did a bunch. I did uh I did uh one of them was just look out your window because the sun is super sick and uh, everyone can use more vitamin D. And also like, you might be able to like peep like you're like a super hot neighbor. That's like sunbathing. And then maybe you guys can form like, maybe you can form like a long distance love connection and then have like a note conversation. Like, uh, like Taylor Swift does in that music video where they're just writing notes to each other. Right. You know? I'm like, that would be stoked. <laughs> and then uh, I think another one was just like, uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, there was some, there were some appropriate ones and some that, you know, weren't all so appropriate. So I won't mention all those, but uh, yeah, there, there was, there was some, there were some good ones on there um, that uh, like make a fire playlist, like a sick playlist oh, that yeah. you get down to. Um, and uh, I made a, pl- I actually made a playlist for that. All my Spotify <laughs> and I linked it for the spot of, for the presentation. It was pretty good. That's cool, man. I love that. And uh, I, I, I can't, I can't go without saying this because it's pretty public to you, man. Hmm. We all know, and we're all hoping, 
and we're all going to be there to cheer you on if it happens. When it happens, should I say. Let's get you a date with Vanessa Hudgens, man. <laughs> Selena Gomez, dog. Selena Gomez? Selena Gomez. But yes, please, blow uh, this shit up. Blow this up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cuss. I don't know if I'm on. <laughs> nah, it's shoot the shit, bro. You but, can... Yeah, you're good. All right, fair enough. Get Whoever is seeing this, just fuck it. Like, tag me. Like, get me in there. Selena, I will do anything for you. I will change my name for you. I love you. I will do anything for her. She's Aaron beautiful. Gomez? <laughs> I'll take her last name. I'll do anything. <laughs> I will do anything, bro. <laughs> she doesn't know it, but once she meets yeah. him, she'll be like, wow. She's be like, it's all right. We're going to Would do you this. say that she cast a spell on you? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what's funny? Um, one of the PowerPoint presentations I did was why Selena Gomez should date me. That was one of the ones I did. And in the first slide, I put um, like commonalities that we both have. And I put the first bullet point was she worked on Wizards of Waverly Place, which is a show about wizards and magic and the paranormal. I was also the cast lead for Paranormal at Knots. So we have a paranormal connection. <laughs> yeah. I, th I, think, I think it's just safe to say, Selena, if you're it's watching there. this, I mean, Aaron Frame, man, he will, he will treat you like the real woman you should be treated That's like. That's right, like a queen, baby. Like a queen. He will give you a five-star date, yeah. take you to right. a five-star restaurant, be very yep. classy. Or if you're not into that, he will be the complete opposite. <laughs> I will do. I will be whatever you want me to be. Yeah, literally, I will change my life, which is terrible, and no one should do that. But I will do that. <laughs> That's how committed I am. This, to her. That's real love. That's real love. <laughs> I'll never cheat on her. Like I'm not gonna do better than her. She's perfect. So it's a win-win. I mean, yeah, I, 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 you know what? Like I said, I'll be here cheering for you if it happens. Like, Thank hey, you. he got a date with Selena Gomez. Let's do this. I'll get you guys in the wedding. Don't worry. I appreciate it. You know what? Like, yeah, I, I just want a podcast. He's going to win. I just got one more thing to say about this. I think yeah. he's going to love you. Like, he's going to lose you. Uh, whatever whatever one of her songs are. Lose you to love me? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. She'll, she'll love me. Is. She'll never lose me. I can tell you that much, bro. I should <laughs> do anything she needs to do, and I'll be here. Uh, uh, that's the, yeah. I mean, so another thing I've, I've been keeping an eye on you about, uh, I follow him on Instagram, so I don't stalk him. Okay. I just, I, I scroll through <laughs> stories and I see what he does. He's an yeah. entertaining person. Okay. Hey, thanks um, man. You're, you're a really good cook. I try to be, I try to be, you know, I, uh, and actually we had funny cause we had that conversation after I posted some about some steak I ate or something. Right. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm a big meat eater. So, uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm a bit. I got got my gun back here. I'm ready to go hunting next uh, next fall. Get some deer meat. You know, yeah, check it up. But uh, yeah, I, I appreciate. It. I'm no Gordon Ramsay. I'm not nearly as mean. Uh, I do have better hair than him, but <laughs> uh, I uh, I'm not as mean or as British as him. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, I appreciate that, man. I try. I, I like to cook uh, any any type of meat. I'm I'm uh I'm I'm down to try. I just need to get a smoker. I want to try smoking. Stuff. Smokers, I heard. I, I mean, I've had a lot of smoked meat, and it is delicious, man. Mm -hmm. What What would you say is like your best dish that you cook? Uh, I so up until two weeks ago, it would have been uh a uh, a sirloin or or just a New York strip steak. Right. Um, but two weeks ago, I tried a new recipe with this uh ground deer meat that I have, and I made homemade um barbecue deer meatballs nice and uh, it was it was it was perfect it was amazing i had them for a little like holiday get together i uh that my family had and uh everyone loved them so that right. might be my new go-to dish i mean i'm just saying after after you know after it's clear to get back together man i might have to come over for a meal i'll get, I'll get you guys some uh, i'll get you guys some venison if you're interested in trying some deer I, I, or if you've had it and you like it i'll uh Give me, give oh, me down for a reservation at the uh, the Aaron Friend <laughs> restaurant. I'll, you know? yeah, I'll put you right behind Selena Gomez. Man. Hey, you know what? If you want to put me like not at the same table, but I'll be like next to you. Yeah. Like, hey, Selena, where's the way we play? <laughs> so I used to watch that show. <laughs> I, I, I could do that because I know you guys would support me and gas me up. So I could, I, I'm gonna surround strategically surround her with a bunch of people that just love me. Yeah. That I can like just she'll be like, wow. I do. I got you, really dude. Aaron. I could tell you greatest guy ever one of the best characters <laughs> i know and honestly a great cook i can't wait for you to try his food did i mention aaron's a nice guy <laughs> that's not the, that's the energy i need man thank you <laughs> i appreciate that we thank will fly you. sammy out to do the same sammy where are you <laughs>
Wait, what, what, what do you mean? I'm here. No, I mean, I'm like, ready. where are you, like, in California? He said he'd fly you out. I'm in Arizona. Oh, right on, bro. Cool, cool. I live in Arizona now. Oh, sweet, man. Yeah, I live, uh, live out in Tempe, which is right, uh, right next to ASU. So. Oh, that's hey, badass, turn out. dude. It's a great college, man. That's awesome. Good for you, bro. Congratulations. We love it. Thank you. I went to go thank visit you, him. Thank you. Uh, I do have one question. Bit. Yeah, yeah. What's up? So, uh, did you win the Fantasy Football League? Because there was a lot of hype. I saw the I saw the draft party. I fucking got it, baby. He got it. I'm I'm the dub winner, my yeah. man. So, you know was it really was it sponsored by Powerade? Yeah, they even sent me free once I. No, I'm kidding. I bought these. Um, <laughs> no, it, it wasn't. We're not that big, of course. But uh, uh, well, we all love Powerade Mountain Bear. Um, oh, can you guys? Okay, yeah, you're cool. good. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, we just all love that drink. It's like the best drink ever because majority of my friends don't drink alcohol, right. uh, including myself, and a lot of us don't drink soda either. And that's just like the best drink ever. I agree. Uh. But thank you. Um, <laughs> but uh, what's funny is, is I'm a diehard ca- uh, college football fan, like diehard college football fan. Right. I'm an Oregon Duck fan through and through. And uh, with the college season being cut pretty short this year, um, my friends got together and they said, you know, like, what would you be down to do a fantasy NFL league? And I've never done a fantasy NFL league because I don't watch the NFL. Right. I, literally, I like don't know shit about the NFL. Um, I told them. And I, and I never want to pay to be in a draft that I know I'm going to lose because I don't know shit about football. Right. Uh, so I usually do college fantasy. Um, and this year, since the college season was cut short, they were like, would you do it? And I'll, I'm like, I'll do it on one condition. If we have a dope draft party and make a dope draft party video. That was dope. It was. And everyone was like, we're on board. Let's do it. So we did it. I paid my 50 bucks. Didn't know shit about football. <laughs> drafted whoever I needed to draft. And then somehow, baby... I'm the fucking champion. The champ, dude. From <laughs> one champ to another, you know. Try not to get scared, champion, to the, you know, fantasy <laughs> fantasy league champ, man. I have to say, doesn't hey. it feel good? It's It feels great to be on top, man. It feels great to be on the mountaintop looking over all the people I beat the shit out of in my lead. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited to come back next year and try to do a little repeat now that I know some more right. about football. About NFL, you should get Sammy up in there. I think I think Sammy would have a fun time doing that. Sam, I know Sammy, you're, you what? He's a big watch? NFL fan. Oh, he does. Yeah, he loves who's your team? I think or is it the Cardinals? We're having uh we're having some Sammy technical difficulties today. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's Arizona. Wi-Fi. Uh, Hit. Go ahead, go ahead, Sammy. You're like you I'm gonna be honest, Sammy. You're really going in and out. Like your your camera looks all kind of pixelated and stuff. Yeah, I, I'm a Buccaneers fan. Let me. I think he said Buccaneers. He's yeah, he loves the Bucks. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, hey, this is the season to like him, man. They got they got Brady. They got, they got Brady, and they're going to the playoffs. So yeah, I, I and it's I found tough. that out yesterday or today, and I'm like, oh, Sammy must be happy that they're going to the playoffs. Man. Yeah, yeah, I bet he is, man. Like I said, I don't know anything about the NFL, so this is all new. I know some players because I watch college very intently. Right. But I mean, you know, everyone does different once they get to the NFL. I so. uh, I'm gonna be honest, not a football fan, but I know a lot about it. <laughs> Hey, I mean, that, that, that's good, though. You can have the conversation. It doesn't mean you have to sit down and watch it for three hours. I, I don't know, like, a ton of, like, to, like, call out things or, like, call bullshit on things. But I think because my mom and my, my, my mom's husband watch it, they're big Raiders fans, so they watch it every okay. week. But they'll watch all football. And See, that's uh, right. so, I, you know, I, I just always, growing up, I always, just, like, would be around my, my mom's side of the family, just a big football fan, so I'd be around it. I'm, I'm more of a baseball guy. I love baseball. Gotcha. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. When the Dodgers come around, dude, the World Series, 2020 World Series champs come back, you know, to, yeah, there you go. to try to get that 2021 title. You know? That's why, too, man, why it's a diehard Dodgers fan. Like, yeah. Good time. Sammy, congrats to your uh, Buccaneers, man. Hey, hats off. Thank you. Hats off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> good luck to him, man. Good luck. You got the GOAT. Hey, so. hey that's, that's all it's about. It's got the GOAT. We're going to get him one more ring. That's all we yeah. – that's the Yo, goals. Your boy, Mike Evans, secured me the championship, by the way. 40 <laughs> points in the last week. He, he won it for me. So, thank hey, you. And he blues me. And he blues me out. Yeah, yeah he made it – yeah, he did all he could to make sure I won, and I appreciate that. That's what's hey, up. That's a real – it's a real team player if I've ever seen one. <laughs> that's right. Absolutely. 
Uh, no, I, and I, I, you know, going back to that, uh, that little party you guys had, just to make, just to be clear too, and I, and I saw a lot of it. Everybody was socially distanced. Everybody was wearing a mask. Uh, no one, yeah. everyone was safe. Um, just so I don't want to, you know, because I, I know someone out there would be like, well, it's pandemic, and it's like, no, I, I saw the video. Everyone was in their <laughs> own little spot, socially distanced, six feet apart. Everyone yeah. had masks on. It was all safe. Uh, I thought that was really cool, though, how you guys did a whole, like, intro of you guys coming out to, like, theme music. And then, you know, it was like, it was like honestly, it felt like an NFL draft where it was like everybody, like, every coach was sitting like, okay, who, we're going to give this player out now. Who wants it? And then everybody grabbed the, you know, snagged their players. Yeah. And I, I thought that was just, it was both hilarious and it looked really professional at the same time. Thank you. That's what, I mean, we said, hey, let's get together. Let's all dress like you're a coach and that's what we did and we did the walkout and then yeah and we did the whole uh we actually had my buddy's girlfriend uh at, like when it was your turn to draft you were on the board with your three minutes to pick right uh we each had pieces of paper you'd write down who you wanted and my buddy's girlfriend would walk up grab it from us take it to him and we had the whole podium and we'd play the nfl draft music and he would announce the pick and we'd put it up on the draft board it was a whole thing sammy i think we got to get you on board with that next year bro i was so jealous <laughs> I was so jealous when I saw it. I was like, every draft I've been in, everyone, like, there's, like, three people that never show up. Yeah. Uh, and then the, the, you guys are – we're not even not even just getting everyone to show up virtually. We're going to show up in person, dressed yeah. to the nines. <laughs> we're going to shoot intro videos. Are we going to be like it's uh, the actual NFL draft? I was like, where are my friends at? <laughs> I am, I'm, glad, I'm glad it uh, served its purpose and entertained some people. It was – I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm only, that's like my only video on TikTok, but it's got like 700 views for something I never go on. So I'm like, right. cool, people are laughing at it, I hope. Yeah. Uh, no, and my I, team name also, just for the record, was Selena Gomez's husband. Nice. So just yeah. for the record, I want oh, to yeah. give her all the credit for me winning because she inspired me through the season. Yep. That's, that's the motivation right there. Right? You know, yep. Selena Gomez, man. She, she brought you that dub. Um, that's my girl. I, I, I was, yeah, I'm just going to say, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> He's just quoting all the songs tonight. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, I think next year, if 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 Sammy were to join that, it'd be everyone in person, and then Sammy on a computer at a table. <laughs> no, I would I would make my I would make my I'd make my way downtown. All right, you gotta, dress, you gotta dress for the Faces nines, man. Oh, Sammy, say uh, say less, dude. Sammy right. used to work for freaking for government. He's got the he's got the clothes, man. He's good. Oh, good. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Suit up like your GM come in walk talk to you on the phone or something we'll do the little slow by video I'll even be your yeah. assistant dude I'll, I'll carry your briefcase oh, you for you there you go that might be cool <laughs> um, yeah, there's an idea they're gonna yeah. ask me like why are you here I heard there was Powerade so you know <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I never we got free up. we got catering <laughs> and next year uh the loser who who lost his uh punishment is he he's got cater the whole event nice. but it's got to be above like a specific amount right so we're gonna be eating great at the draft next year too so <laughs> so they'd be like so why are you here I'm his assistant I came because I heard there was food and Powerade <laughs> yeah. so yeah I couldn't there pass was on smoked that. meat and free drinks uh, <laughs> Aaron promised me a a homemade dish uh, after <laughs> this was all over so you know this has been in the yeah. making for about a year so yeah exactly so uh, i'm looking forward to it that's you should be fun man i i think that uh in my opinion because i would love to see it you guys gonna need to start like a whole youtube week by week thing man i would love to see what everyone's <laughs> going through just a little see, that's a that's the thing, dude. I found out this year that fantasy football fucking sucks because it's stressful. Right. And I'm reading way too much than I need to read about players I don't know or have never heard before. And I'm like, I'm texting my buddies who are no help because they're playing against me. So they're giving me advice that I might not need. And everyone's vetoing. Each so the group chat was turning very toxic at some point since everyone's like vetoing trades and shit. And I'm like, I'm sticking with the same players I drafted. They're going to get me through the year. And everyone called me a fool. And here I am on the fucking mountaintop, baby. The funny part is the guy who knew the least about all of this, and he <laughs> won. Like, I thought that was amazing. I don't, and, and I got to give credit to Wyatt. He came in second place. Him and I had a hard-fought uh, championship match. Uh, but I edged him out because of my boy Mike Evans. Yeah. Uh, made you know, it work. Uh, how, how, you know, speaking of Wyatt, how's he doing, man? I, I, we haven't talked to him since, uh, since the podcast. He's good. He was actually just in my house for uh, for dinner uh, tonight. Nice. He's doing well, man. He uh, just he just went back to Disney. Uh, he's stoked about it. Uh, he's you know we're on Warzone every other night. 
What's what what, what what console are we playing on, dog? Uh, he's on PS4. I'm on that spot. But oh, are uh, you on the Xbox too, huh? I mean, I got he, both. You can see it back there, the tower of that PS5 oh, okay. right there. Yeah, we'll get with you guys, and then we'll yeah. get the gamer tags after. I'll be honest, I fucking suck. But why it's great, and he he carries us. So hey, you know what? Uh, I f- me and Sammy fucking suck. But you know what? <laughs> no, I'm trash. <laughs> trash. Yeah, I'm I'm bad, but you know it, that's what makes it fun. So I'm right. either on that or I'm on Madden. Or I'm playing uh, Planet Coaster. I'm pretty sure uh, Sammy would like to take you up on a game of Madden. That's also is one of his games. I love Sammy. that game. I'll try. I'll do. Which one do you have? Does which one do you have? I have Madden 20. That's fine. I have Madden 20. Okay. All right. Fair Gotta enough. love the Game Pass, man. Gotta love the Game That's Pass. That's exactly exactly. Gotta That's love why I downloaded pass. it. Um, yeah. Outside of doing all this amazing other things, I mean, how else have you been keeping busy during quarantine? Obviously, these are uh, everybody's trying to keep busy. Uh, mm-hmm. you still, you still working? Is that good? Is that, uh, yeah. So I, I was working up until September and then I, I quit my job. Okay. Cause, uh, I mean, I'd been there for like six years. It was a very stressful job, but, uh, I, I, I quit. Uh, they were going to move me to a location that was way too far and it just wasn't worth the drive. Right. So I was like, no, I'm going to respectfully get out of here. So, uh, I took two months and just enjoyed myself. Just time off. Finally being able just to relax sleep. and enjoy. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, uh, I went to, uh, with my buddies, uh, with Wyatt, my other friend, Nick to Atlanta and to Tennessee to experience Halloween in October, because obviously everything was shut down here, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And Georgia and Tennessee were just like, Hey dude, we're open. So, uh, we went there solely to do haunted houses and we did like 12 haunted houses. I remember seeing that bunch. Yeah. Yeah. That was a fun trip. If you guys ever have a chance to make it out to the. Atlanta or the greater Atlanta area, um, they have some kick-ass events, dude. Some That's amazing houses. Yeah, like, I was thoroughly blown away by at least three of them, and I was like, this is incredible. Um, yeah, I did, my, we, I did my first out-of-state one this year when I went to visit Sammy in Arizona. We went to Fear Farm. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. How was it? Uh, you know, I, I, I think because I went at the very last day, uh, it wasn't filled – as much as it should have been. Uh, I remember walking through the mazes and even when we showed up, it just kind of looked a little empty and some of the maze okay. spots felt, um, some spots felt like they, there was a person that should have been there, but I think uh-huh. it, cause you know, usually it was the week after Halloween. So it was already in November. So a lot of people usually call it after Halloween's over. That's, that's Did it. Did you go on a weekend or a weekday? I went on a, we went on a, what, what do we go on? A, Saturday. Saturday. The Saturday. It was, huh. the, it was the very yeah. last day. Okay. Um, it was but, like November eighth or whatever. Yeah. Okay. But gotcha. I, I feel like the event, um, it, it it has a ton of potential. It really does. I I I enjoyed the little that we had, and uh-huh. I, I would love to see it filled with like monsters and everything. Yeah. And uh, I, and what? And our boy John. And our boy John Cook is. Uh, He's coming to do may it. May or may year. not be working on that next year. So. Uh, oh. Okay. The well, cookbook is going to be there. I love how you guys coined that kind of thing, man. That's a funny thing. <laughs> you know the what? Uh, Look at getting spiced up. We uh, yeah. we we actually we made the mer. We we me and Sam- Sammy created it. Actually, Sammy created that. That's all credit to Sammy. Um. Okay. All right. I, I like it. I think we were walking through some mazes, or we saw something. I think it was when we went to Hayride. Is when it first got Hayride 2019. Is when it first got like really started using it more because we started seeing uh-huh. a lot. that was the first year he got on board to do hayride and we saw some some like things that we've seen in other mazes i'm like this is john cook man and he's like it's part of the cookbook bro and i'm like i like that so, i do yeah I, I think like a couple months ago we released the shirt it was before i think it was in september or august we released the shirt finally it's literally a brown book that says in red writing that says the cookbook and uh that's I, awesome I, I released it i messaged john i'm like hey john so uh we made this shirt we're big fans we'd love what you do um i want to i want to buy i want to get you one and send it to you he's like yeah that's that's awesome that you guys did that he goes I, i've been i've been noticing that and i noticed it <laughs> and he goes uh I, I yeah just go ahead and send me at this address so i sent it to his address and uh he uh, from what i heard from one of my buddies who worked hayride last year that he just he loves that fr- he loves that phrase and he wore that shirt a couple times so like that makes me feel accomplished that's awesome. See, it's what I'm saying, you guys. You guys are you guys are the fans, you know? Hey, this we the influence is there. I love it. I love it. it it's love something it. where it's like, okay, you get 
we don't get paid like okay we we in the B it's still it's still like this but we don't get paid to do this we we are just like you said we're fans that just like going to these events and like covering yeah. them and we like to see what happens every year and so happens that we go to the events multiple nights and mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we don't even film stuff we just go to enjoy ourselves so yeah it's just it's a, it's a fun job it really is and that's the best and and you guys I mean whether whether or not you hear it which I'm sure you do but uh. You know, you, you you guys are the reasons why people probably come from other areas or out of the states that have never been to like a haunt before or something like right. that or a knots. And they're like, yo, I want to check it out because I've heard these guys talk about it, you know, like I hope so. You guys are a great unpaid PR team. I, yeah, I, I really you know? hope so. And I like I always say media or no media. Uh, I'm still showing up to the event. I'll buy a ticket to support. <laughs> and even if I do get media for like, say, not. It doesn't matter because I'm still going to buy the annual pass and go every fucking night because I love that event yeah. to, the, to the core. Same thing with Universal. Like, if I were to get media, it doesn't matter. I'm still buying a frequent fear pass because I want to go every single damn night because I mm -hmm. I love what they do. I'm going to support what they do, and ugh, I just want to go get scared. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. So, and that's that's why we went to Georgia because I just was like, I want to I wanna get scared, man. And then I worked a couple nights, too, at uh, – uh, Green Spot Farm. You telling me we missed an Aaron Frame performance? Yeah, man. Me and uh, me, Vi, and Wyatt stared for like I think three or four nights there. Green Spot fun. was that? It's up in the Redlands, near near. I mean, it's like two hour drive or an hour. No, I'm totally exaggerating. Like an hour fifteen. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 in the Redlands. It was cool, man. Uh, those guys that you had on uh one of your podcasts here a while ago, um. They're like a the of monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, a couple of them were there, and I think it scared there a couple of nights. Nice. Yeah, they. Uh, oh, yeah, they, that was the one that had the hayride, right? Yes. And let me tell you, that was a badass fucking hayride. Was it? That was a dude. That if no one has been to that thing, go next year. They let us ride it in costume, and I was like thoroughly impressed. <laughs> it was really good. I uh, I think I was supposed to go there Halloween night, if not that Sunday, and that Halloween weekend. I was doing fine the whole weekend, and then I got a bad stomach ache that weekend, and I just uh, called quits for, like, that Friday and everything. And I was so pissed because I wanted to go check it out. Um, well, go, go nuts here, man. It was, yeah. it, was, it was fun to scare. I want to give them a shout-out for allowing us to come do that because they told us, hey, go out, do whatever the fuck you want. And I was like – that that to me is, like, music to my ears, hearing right. that phrase, do whatever the fuck you want, go have a party. Right. I was like, I can do that. So that's what we did. And it was small, but it was just, it was a blast. I think Art, Art Dracula, Art posted, a, he came and filmed us one night. So there's some, so there's some footage out there of me and Vi dicking around. But uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Shout out to them. That whole team there was awesome. And the best part about it, uh, which is the reason I really love um, uh, uh, Field of Streams, is that there was a bunch of just like 15, 16 year old kids working there. And I love that because when I was 15 or 16, I wish I could have find, found a place to go scare. Right. And it didn't exist. And these kids are like the next generation of monsters, you know? Right. And I love seeing them out there just partying and learning and, get, you know, getting in their lefts and rights and learning their timing because that's – they're going to be the great ones in a couple of years. You Dude, know? How, how awesome is it to pass down some knowledge to – obviously, you've been doing it for a couple of years now. And it, it must be nice to pass down the knowledge to the future generation. Yeah, you know, it, it's when I, it's rewarding. You know, I, I, I don't want to take all the credit in the world because, you know, it's in some ways scaring is easy, in some ways scaring is hard. It depends on the person. Right. But uh, I, I do have to give a lot of credit to Brandon and Pasta uh, when I became a cast lead for trusting me to coach people and then kind of showing me how to coach people. And then, uh, of course, I got to give credit to Gary of Spaz because he's the greatest monster to ever walk the earth. <laughs> and uh, he taught me a lot too. But uh, it feels good, man. I, I hope it, I hope people take something from it. If they do, cool. If not, cool. You know, right. it's my style of scaring. I realize it's a lot different than other people's style of scaring. Yeah. I can't do uh, uh, oh man, give me a monster that's not high energy, but it's so scary as fuck. Um, uh, like you know, Gecko, mm -hmm. Gecko, dude. Like, is he running 100 miles an hour? No, but he doesn't need to. What he does is perfect for his niche right. and he scares the shit out of people yeah it's phenomenal his groundwork just the best of the best right i could never do that <laughs> i am not that okay. but I glow scare some people i mean i don't know yeah i mean one or two <laughs> don't remind me. Don't i forgot remind. all about that sammy brought it 
Yeah, I was hoping we'd get through, I would get through one haunt related thing without the bride being brought up, but it's okay. It's inevitable. I understand that's a curse I wear. <laughs> But uh, you know what? You would have gotten through it too, because I forgot all about that, and <laughs> Sammy remembered it. So it wasn't even me that brought that up. It was Sammy. <laughs> hey, thanks, Sammy. I appreciate that. I'll remember that next year in the draft, bro. Um, <laughs> or remember, you yeah, remember, just remember it next year if you ever go scary. You know, easy scary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I mean, we'll see what happens. But uh, it, it's, it's, uh, I, I it, you know, certain people have different types of scare, and I realize my type isn't for everyone. So me becoming a cast lead and pasta and brand kind of showing me how to appeal to different monsters and see firsthand in the maze when I worked paranormal, right. how to coach different people based off their positions was, uh, was critical, you know? So hopefully now I'm a better coach if that's something that is even needed. Right. Um, but, uh, it, just, it, it feels good to just watch the young people and just scare with them Yeah. to pull a kid out of the break room at green spot and be like, dude, just follow me or better yet. I'll follow you. Just go run. Yeah. And let's just knock people over and, you know, and then they come back and they're huffing and puffing and they're like, that was so much fun. And I'm like, dude, you're amazing. You're, fucking, you're badass, dude. Keep it up. Positive vibes. I love it. That's what I'm all about. That's yeah. what haunt is, bro. Haunt, yeah. it, people come to be entertained. Yeah, so it's, it is. Why yeah. not get entertained yourself, you know? On top of, you know, go, yeah. go, go ahead, Sammy. Did we get any possum parties there, or are we, uh, we got like? some like it? We got—I mean, I wasn't a possum. I literally—it's uh, funny. I got there and I had my possum mask that someone, that one of my maze monsters, Jesse, who was on Ghost Town right. this past year, uh, made for me, and I love it. But uh, I, I, I like kind of having like nothing on my face. And I got there and they're like, "What are you gonna wear? We have a bunch of masks and stuff." And I was like. Honestly, if it's all the same to you guys, I just want to rub a bunch of dirt on my face, just swallow a bunch of black stuff, and just wear contacts and just look like a fucking crackhead. And they were like, uh, one kid in particular was like, "Well, uh, is that all you're gonna do, just for your face?" And I was like, "I was like, yeah, that's 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 all I needed to do." And they were like, "Okay, I mean, it just seems a little bit, you know, like not a lot." And I was like, "It isn't, but it's it's how you scare, not what you're wearing, you yeah. know." So just go out there, and dominate with what you have. Let's do and, it. Uh, yeah, I just went out. Like I said, you can look at the video, but we looked. I just looked like a crackhead, a weird mud on my face, freaked looking guy, and I had a bunch of fun. So that's awesome, man. I mean, uh, obviously, you went out of state to experience some new stuff this year. Did you get to experience anything that happened in California this year, as far as drive-through stuff or other home haunts or anything? Yes, I did uh, both. I did um, Hayride, right. Which was interesting. This is the first time I've been to Hayride in a long time. Obviously, it was very different from what it normally is. Right. Um, so that was interesting. Um, and uh, I went to a walkthrough haunt on Halloween night that was up in uh, like a Murrieta area. I forget what it was called. Right. But uh, that was a really well ran, well put together for a backyard haunt. I was very impressed by how well they designed it. And then I did. Uh, um, a drive through haunt that was at the uh, OC Fairgrounds, the Urban Legends. Urban one. Legends. Yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. Yeah. Um, I kind of wanted to email them and be like, "Can I just come out for a night, and just fuck around?" But <laughs> I, I didn't get around to it. But uh, I heard that uh, the the drive through car wash was really dope. I saw videos. That was it fun. Really cool. You guys did it. That was fun. Yeah, we did that. Um. That was probably one of my favorites. This, yeah, I was not expecting it to be like. I was expecting it to be like, okay, this is new. I haven't seen this, but when I came out of that thing, I was like, holy shit! Like, <laughs> with the space of a car wash, like, oh my god! Like, they were opening. They were opening. I've seen videos where they open doors during the car wash. That's awesome. So your well, whole you had your whole door gets like soap and everything on it. I was like, what the hell? They had some, uh, they had some A level talent they working did. that thing. So it doesn't surprise me at all that they took it to the next level and had a party themselves. That's awesome. yeah. They they had a right. lot of great people, a lot of fun. It was a fun time, you know. It, even through the car wash, like you think you're safe in your car, but just remember, if you, I, I, this is just a tip, if you don't <laughs> want it, your car open during the car wash before the car wash starts, lock your doors. Yeah. Other than that. Party on. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question about that. So after you go through the car wash, did they dry your car for you? No. <laughs> did you have to do that? Oh, really? Yeah, you had to do that. That'd be hilarious. I thought was, yeah, I thought it was like a full service thing. Yeah, but I mean, it'd, be a nice, it'd be a nice ending. They're still trying yeah. to scare you while they're cleaning your, or you're drying your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
that, that's that's funny that they just say, all right, fuck it, out and drive yourself. Yeah. No, it was funny. Hey, just drive fast. Yeah. Drive fast. Yeah, exactly. Don't drive yourself. You yeah. know what? It's it's funny because it's a car wash at night, which you don't really mm-hmm. see. And uh, it, it was just a fun time. I mean, getting there, I mean, we had a lot of fun interactions. We were we, we saw Forrest there, and he was just hilarious. Um <laughs> And well, I know a lot of people love seeing you guys, so I'm glad you I'm glad you uh you got you got to experience that with a lot of people that, that know you guys. It was such a it was such a fun interaction, dude, because uh I went with my buddy Rob and his wife, and his wife does not like any of that stuff. So I think when mm-hmm. Forrest was talking to us, uh she like locked the car thinking he wouldn't know, and he literally reached over, unlocked it, he goes, Now you messed up. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just dying. So it was a fun time. I think it was one of the f- most funnest experiences I've had uh in in 2020 at least with the haunt season we got and uh i had heard that they're going to be bringing it back this year starting as early as the summer so oh wow that'd be awesome yeah yeah i uh i i I mean everything kind of remains to be seen hopefully we get a nods this year if not i'm gonna be very i mean you have a lot of people that are gonna be very upset and very sad uh i hope we get that i'd like to go back there um and 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 work not scare but work um but uh yeah, let me tell you, if you ever have the chance to go to Georgia, there's a there's a, a very famous uh, haunted house there called Netherworld. And uh, it's been all sorts of travel channel stuff and top right. tens or whatever. And uh, you won't find a lot of video of it online because they're very strict about the video stuff. But, man, when I tell you, that is I, – I am fully confident in saying that that is probably the most detailed maze I will ever go through for the remainder of my life. That thing was – I, that was like it was it was no joke probably a 30 minute walk through per maze and there was two mazes in that building right and it was long and just anima dude they had everything in there it, that that building cost a lot of money and it was very well put together that's awesome very well i think they're open year round too oh I, I don't know that 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 could be true i'm not i'm not sure but that was or, I mean, or at least they put on special events throughout the year like for like valentine's and other like oh, okay. holidays and stuff yeah, that would make sense. They'd probably need something to foot that bill of that place. That place is fucking massive, dude. Right. Yeah, was, I heard you could do it in the dark too. Yeah, yeah. They have they have different experiences. It was it was like and it was only like twenty five bucks for all together for both the mazes. And right. It was it was really well put together. It was really well done. We I wore one of my knot shirts one day and someone identified that. So it was cool to talk to some people that know knots even way the hell on the East Coast. Right. You know, it was it, it was cool to and seeing people slide way out there. It's like, whoa. Well, so cool. and I think that's why so many people are starting to gain notice to knots because in a way that was the birthplace of sliding. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I, it's cool seeing people do it and yeah. being like, whoa, that's that's badass. You yeah. know, it just gives me more like confidence that there is some kid in the middle of nowhere fucking Wyoming who can jump like 15 people Oh shit. out. I'm like, I'm sure it exists. It's yeah. gotta be out there. You know, if yeah. there's something to be done, there's always someone that exists. I can do it better. And Someone's going to look at that and go, okay, I think I can t- up that, up that Annie. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. like, I think I could do, I could think I could do this guy did 10 people. I think I could do 12 people. Yeah. There, I mean, I just gotta believe there's some kid that's so fast running that. I mean, that can just do that. It but, just uh, has the hops man and just jumps yeah. over all them, man. Yeah. Uh, exactly. It's funny that you bring out uh, like out of state, out of country haunts because actually a couple haunts that I was shown to uh, last year in like March, February was uh, some places I would love to visit is uh, st- stuff out in like Germany and stuff. They have dope haunts that look amazing. Um, <laughs> and I had just gotten word, I think, last season or last year sometime, they actually, uh, Germany got its first slider over there. So, oh, really? Oh. How would you feel to be the first slider in an entire country? Right? It's got to be pretty cool feeling. <laughs> he's like, he's probably learning it, and then he comes to work one day and does it, and everyone's looking at him like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> yeah. I want to do that. <laughs> what is this Western civilization shit doing? <laughs> uh, yeah. They probably don't give a fuck there, too. They're probably brutal in Germany. There's probably some crazy shit. No, they put on. you ever get a chance, just look up some of the haunts overseas, dude. They look so fucking fun. Like, they put, I think as far as, like, the way it looks and everything, they put us in smoke, dude. Like, this, it huh. looks amazing. Like, I really want to go check that out. I will. I will look that up. I'm always, you know, even though I don't scare anymore, like, quote, unquote, professionally, if you could even call it that. Right. Um. I, I always love watching haunt videos or even going out of state and going to other haunts stuff, just watching, just sitting there and watching people scare and how they do it and their techniques. And I'm like, if I can find someone that's better than me or people I know, I just like watch them. Cause I'm like, this is so cool. 
and I want to get better even though I don't really do it anymore. But it's just that competitive drive in my that my nature and also that that uh admiration that I'm always gonna have for people who are like always gonna be better, you know. Right. I agree, and, uh, man. It's it's cool to see that. So I will look that up and see how how they how they do things. I think there, I you know? saw the video of someone sliding on TikTok, but it might be it might have surfaced YouTube already. So I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, it's so. crazy. I hope I I can only imagine the first time he jumps somebody, everyone in Germany is gonna be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it's like a freaking Super Bowl where everyone, someone, your team scores a touchdown. It's just, ah! yeah. yeah. I hope he gets on the news and some shit like, yeah. New transportation technique right. by the, made by this kid, you know. That's so cool, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so obviously, uh, everyone, I'm, I'm glad you had a, at least a, an enjoyable Halloween. Uh, from yeah. what we got in a good, you know, hot season. Uh, how was your Christmas and New Year's, man? I mean, both good. You know, as good as as good as it can be, considering uh, the the conditions that that we're in. Um, you know, I nothing nothing really to 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 go on about there. Just spend a lot of time with my friends and my family, and uh, good. You know, enjoying everyone, enjoying everyone's health. Thankfully, right. hopefully, you guys did the same. Yep. Uh, and uh, you know, on on to twenty twenty one, baby, on to the next. Me and me and Sammy don't really go anywhere. We just kind of stay inside all the time, unless we have to work. Yeah. I mean, even Sammy stays inside for work, but I mean, that's the only time I, I really leave my house is for work. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it was a perfect year for you, twenty twenty, baby. That's, yeah, that's what it was about. It was about sitting inside and enjoying what you had. Yeah, no, yeah. I, and then when the when the when the new consoles came out, I was like. I'm ready for another lockdown, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to get all the stits for another eight months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you, man. I, I, I never, I never really played video games at all before the lockdown, and right. then I got the last ad spots from Best Buy, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'll get it. I'll get this Warzone thing, and I got it, and you know. Now, now, I now, now your life has changed forever. <laughs> yeah, now, now it's now I understand how people can be in lockdown for so long. I'm like, this is. This isn't bad. This isn't I'm bad. in my underwear. Yeah. yeah. Just bad. I'm, I'm just trying to get out of the gulag. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's just the that's the epitome of 2020, dude. Just trying to get out of the gulag. The gulag, man. And the gulag is different for everybody throughout the year, depending on what you're going through. But yeah. everyone has a gulag, you Everybody's know. Everyone's got a gulag. That's what I've learned from <laughs> modern warfare. Everyone's got a gulag, man. So uh, yeah. obviously, with 2021, we're 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 still uncertain what's going to happen mm. later on in the year. Um, sure. If Knotts does come back, you said you're planning on you you want to come back and work. Obviously, you yeah. want to probably do another maze. Obviously, and and two mazes left last year. That means two new opening mazes. Would you choose a maze that you've done that's already been there, or would you like to tackle on those new ones if they were to well, come back this year and they release new that, ones? That's an interesting question. Um, well, two two parts to that. One, uh, I don't really get to dictate where I get to. I mean, they put me where they're gonna where I. Like I said, when I, and I inter- when I interviewed the first year, I said, put me wherever you think I'm going to excel at because right. you guys know how I scare and stuff. And they did that. So I trust their judgment. Um, really, I would I would love a zone, uh, to be honest. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, I would love a zone. That's up to them. Anywhere they put me, I'm going to be happy. But if I had a choice of a maze-wise, uh, I, would, I, would, I would probably go back to paranormal. Listen. Paranormal is an easy maze to run if you have the talent in there that are good and that listen to you um, and you have a great support system with your management and the blackouts that work in that maze and the techs that work in that maze, which I was thankful to have. Um, but I, 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 don't, I don't think there will ever be a situation where I'll take a new maze um, purely because I like to be able to, in some ways, tell my talent, hey, go out there and just destroy shit, man. Like, <laughs> You know, and a new maze is like a new car. You know, the first week you get it, you 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 know, people are, you know, you still have you still have the plastic on the seats, and you got the, trying to wash it every week, making sure exactly. it's clean. You got the paper on the floorboard, you know. But three, four years into getting your car, you know, you you hit a curb or two, it's like, yeah. <laughs> you don't it, wash it, it for like a month, you know. It's yeah. like, <laughs> is it is it a good car? Does it get the trick done? Absolutely. Absolutely. Does it matter who's driving it? Yeah, for sure. But. You know, it's it gets a little ding or a bruise. It, it, it adds character. Yeah. So I love it. Yeah. I would say you know, it needs, I, the, what's up? needs a little ahead. mud on it. You can put a little bit of mud on it. You know. Exactly. You know? Exactly. It's it's it, it adds it adds a little something to it. Took you know? a little, little, we, we, we took it off road in a little bit. It's nice. It's yeah. good. It's it's still Just, going. <laughs> Yeah, you got to put a little elbow grease in there. We want to clean <laughs> hey. it now. You got to put a little more effort into it. But you know what? It's still a car, and it's still to get the trip done. 
and if you treat it right, it's going to run like a gem. Yep. And uh, hey, and you and, and you'll leave people asking, "But did you die?" Exactly. But did you it's, die? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question you everyone should be asking when they leave a maze. You know, yeah. so good. But did you die? Did you die? Yeah. You know, I would love to have a zone. I think there's, you know, not not to, not to put myself out there, but I, I think that there's. A lot of things I would like to add that I, I could add um, to to uh, to areas or, or even mazes, you know. Right. Um, but the team two years ago did a great job. The cast leads were phenomenal. You know, everything looked top notch, as I'm sure you guys would agree. I mean, mm -hmm. you went more times than I did, probably more times than anybody, uh, <laughs> which you should be proud of. Oh yeah. Um, I think we I think we hit the. Uh... I, don't, I wouldn't say the most times walkthrough, but I think the walkthroughs we went through the most every time we went in 2019 was Origins, uh, Special Ops, and Dark Ride. And you guys liked Origins. The, like That was your favorite maze, right, if I'm not 2019, mistaken. I mean, that, that, was, that was a love letter to Ghost Town, dude, and it yeah. was just beautiful. I think, uh, yeah, I remember our, 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 our uh, first uh, time we sat down, I think uh, Sammy, I think, said that exact quote, and I think that that's a map. That, perfectly personifies what that maze is yeah it is a love letter to ghost town in, in the best ways and uh eh, it's a good maze paranormal will always hold a special spot in my heart though i just i that maze. i definitely want to go and i and i and i probably did in the past i just you know i wasn't as invested or put in the time in this channel as i am now but i definitely would love to go to the event when you're running a maze just to see what does an Aaron frame maze look like <laughs> i've heard such amazing things i, I really want to see it now well, if you really, if you ever, I mean, I can always, you know, if, I can always get my points of view for everything. But if you really want to know, you're gonna have to talk to the talent that were in that maze and, right. and talk to them about how I ran it, because it, it comes down to them. I can only do so much. Right. I can, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a decent talent manager, but I'm a better controller of chaos. Right. And I think that's probably the best definition that I would give myself as far as defining who. How cool how would, it, would it be too? like, uh, say for 2021, they do come back and it, it seems like um, Paranormal is probably ending. It's coming down its last last couple of runs. Maybe yeah. I think it's got one or two more runs into it. Uh, how cool mm -hmm. would it be for you to close out that maze, man? You know, it, it would mean a lot to me uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, and yeah, you know what? You know what? It's funny because I, I literally had someone who was in that maze uh, that I talked to a couple weeks ago, and he told me uh, he told me the same thing. He's like, "Man, I would love to go go back and close out that maze. I would love to get the crew together." And I was like, "Yes, that'd be awesome." But with every year, and like, like I told everyone in the maze the last night, I was like, "Listen, this this year, this maze, these people, it'll ne it'll never be again. Yeah. It'll never be a year like a 2018." paranormal it's not gonna happen right. it'll never be duplicated it'll never be uh imitated it, it is what it is and like i told him i told him that and i was like i would love to come back but you're not gonna get that crew and we, we got to build you know every year it's building from the ground up unless there's street zone yep. um and that's why i give a lot of credit to mazes man because a street zone a lot of times that zone already has an established base and you're really just adding a roof on an already built house with the new talent right uh a maze, a lot of times, you're pouring the foundation all over again every single season. Yeah. And it's tough, man. There's, It's hard. But yeah. I was happy to hear a lot of my talent made it out to streets. A lot of my talent went where it got where they wanted to be. And I'm, I'm happy that they got to where they wanted to go. So uh, it, it was all them. I couldn't run that maze without them. But it would be cool. But. I know. I, I getting a little I, emotional I here, man. Come on. <laughs> you should see me the last night. I was like, I gave speeches every night, and I gave you know really inspired, because that's how I am. I'm like a coach. I didn't have him call me boss or my name. I have him call me coach, because yeah. I like Coach you know, Frame. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Just hey, coach. And I'm, you know that's how that's how it was. It's like a game to me. You know, you want to beat the other mazes every night. It's like you got you got to give them the infamous uh, Rocky Balboa speech. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll beat you down if you let it. Be. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, I, I, whether it was quotes every night or or, or a little roll tide chant or whatever it was, um, I wanted to make sure they were heard. In fact, the first night I might have told you this story, so I apologize if I did. But the first night of scare school, or the only night of scare school, but scare school uh when i first met everyone like in, a, in an official capacity right instead of just signing them onto the team um or drafting them as i told them that they were being they were being drafted onto the team 
shook their hand afterward. Welcome to the team. Welcome man. to We're the team. Be... Welcome to that's paranormal. That's how it was, man. That's how I looked at it. You, you gotta get the paranormal jerseys, the football jersey. Hey, welcome to paranormal. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they told me that there was a prize at the end of the season for the top maze, I was like, cool. If there's a prize, and that means this whole thing is a competition and a game. We're going for our Super Bowl like rings, that. man. We're going. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thank you. But uh, our first night of scare school, uh, Brandon and I, uh, mostly Brandon, because I was new, but Brandon and I kind of ran them through the paces of like a, they face each other and be a werewolf. And then, you know, like the warm ups that they do right. before we put them into the maze to show them their spots. You know, we ran them through that. And right before we sent them off into their spots and show them through the maze, I, uh, I told everyone, hey, you know, I want you to all take a step forward, keep facing each other about a foot apart. And, you know, these people are going to be, quote unquote, your family for the next two months, guys. That's how it is. Right. So the person that's across from you, I want you guys to look at each other and I want you guys to tell each other, you're the best fucking monster in this maze. And then they did it. And I said, cool. Now look at that person and say, you're going to help put this maze number one. You're going to make this maze the best maze in the fucking park this year. And I want you to believe it when you say it. And then they all said to each other. And I was like, cool. And I reach out and shake the hand of the person across from you and say, I respect you. And then they all did it. And I said, all right, guys, that's the tone we're setting for this year. That's how it's going to be. Let's get you into this fucking maze and let's show you where you're going to be. And that's how we started the year. And the rest and, is history. <laughs> yeah, that was received well, faithfully, because yeah. I don't think anyone else really does that. But yeah. that's something I wanted to fire up my troops. That's motivation, dude. That fires me up, dude. Like, just when you say that, and then and then I'm going to listen to some metal to even fire me up even more. <laughs> and, you know, it's go, it's go time. That's what it's about, man. I I... I hope one day you guys work, man, because you can see in certain areas the camaraderie and, you know, the little break room rehab, man. Every time I got back there pre, pre-night, like before the night started, man, everyone was rocking and bouncing around and hugging and high five, and there was no drama. No, It was just fun, man. I've had and the I opportunity loved... to actually see that. I used to work at Knott's in 2016, so I've, I've, oh, okay, yeah, that's right. I've gotten that's right. to see all that, and it's, it's, it's a whole – it's it, behind the scenes is really cool, man. I've gotten to talk to a lot of cool people. Even in other areas of the park, when I was working, um, like other shifts in other areas, it's it's really cool to just talk to people about that. And yeah, a lot of nothing cool fires you up more than working hot, man. I yeah. can be honest. You just I was a character of my own that year, man. I had I was park services, man. I had the freaking dust man. <laughs> I would scrape it up against the floor in the alley and just walk away. And yeah, be like what was that about? Oh, the monster. You know, I'm, gonna give, I'm gonna give a lot of credit to park services because part not only for cleaning up all the messes I'm sure I've made or other people have made. But uh, you guys were the hardest people to scare, man. I could scare ride attendants. I could scare any entertainment people. I could scare, I could scare uh, uh, concession people. Part services, I tried. <laughs> I, every, every night, if you were walking toward me, I'm going to try to scare you, regardless if you were in uniform. And you guys always put up a tough fight. So I'll give credit to you. Especially your when I found out you were, and the story I heard, you were the person to, to hide in one of the, the fucking trash cans that they use. Oh, the for, big, yeah, 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 the big ones. The, yeah, that was me. The rubber maids, man. Like I, yep. I, I was told that when I first started working there, like when Han started, he's like, yeah, I remember this one year, this guy hiding in a rubber maid. We just <laughs> put it in the middle, and then he popped out. I was like, man, that 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 sounds cool. I would love to talk to that guy. And then like three years later, it's it's Aaron. <laughs> I was yeah. like, I'm glad that story lived on in in uh, in, in in your world there because uh, that was a very fun, very fun and. Bad thing for me to do. Don't break rules. Kids. Don't break rules. It was fun. Yeah. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. And don't break rules. Exactly. Yeah. Listen to your yeah. gas lead. Don't break rules. Mm-hmm. Walk the edge. But don't fall off the cliff. There you go. Hey, 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 come to party. Come yeah. to scare. Come but, to party. Uh, don't get but, to home. Exactly. Come to party, but know when you need to, uh, you know, when don't you need, need to, to tone it drinking. down, you know, it's like, it's, it's good to have fun out there, but be safe doing it. Yeah. Do you, so do you guys have anything you're looking forward to this year as far as like what you hope as far as new mazes um, or? I'm I'm looking forward to uh, an Aaron Frame VIP maze uh, <laughs> coming to life. <laughs> I wish I could legally get that to you, man. I don't think I'd be able to sneak that one through again. Honestly, I think hey. Sammy. I, I I think I can speak for me and Sammy when we say we're just really we're hoping uh, the haunts open and we can't wait to be there opening night for knots because we know the energy is going to be on like a hundred and fifty. Yeah, this will be. This will be a very interesting year of people. I think, you know, you'll see a huge turnout for people wanting to work. I think you'll see a huge turnout for people coming. And I think you'll see a huge turnout as far as energy emitted by the talent. And I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. I'm All I'm saying is if, 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 if those ghost town monsters ain't coming through that fog to a no grave. Um, it only makes sense. And that place point. isn't, and that place is not popping off. Yeah. 
yeah. then um, we got to close it down and we got to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> until, I until that crowd pops. And I mean pops. Uh-huh. I'm talking I, like Royal Rumble. A uh, legend just came back, pop. Like yeah. you gotta get like Stone Cold Steve Austin just came in the freak. The glass just shattered. <laughs> his music went off. I need everyone screaming their heads off. Yeah, no, I hear you, man. I, I mean, want I, mean. I want no voice from anyone by the time the event starts. Like everyone's yeah. voice is shot. <laughs> That's funny. You know, when I used to slide back in the day, when I used to slide and I would hit a slide and scare the shit out of someone. Me and White used to get up and do the DX chop. Yeah, boom. Yeah, we used to do that all the time. That shit was fun. But uh, you're right, and I hope that's what goes down, and that fires me up. And I hope, I hope one day you guys can experience what it's like on the other end of that rope in that fog, because there is nothing like rope dropping ghost town. All I'm saying, nothing like. I, I, just, I, I don't want to do the whole season. I just want to be, <laughs> you know, be blessed. Nights. Just one night. Just give me one night. All I'm saying <laughs> is, I, I may have already gotten some offers to go to work some home haunts, so. <laughs> Well, hey, man, everywhere you go is going to be a party. It doesn't matter where. I'm just saying, right? if you want to come out and support your boy, when the time gets closer oh, and yeah. I can and I can disclose some information to the public, you know, I, sure. I, I'll let you know. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. But... Listen, I'll make the effort, man. And like I tell everyone, it's not where you have the party at. It's the party you're having while you're there. That's what's important. That's the, that's and... the quote to live by. I think I got to make that into a sh- T-shirt. It says, <laughs> I like to party, uh, parentheses, period, Aaron Frame. Hey man, I'm I'm here for the party, bro. It's that's what life's about, you know. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm I, I see that, and I'm I'm gonna want to get out there and do rope drop, man. So I'll, I'll one yeah. of these years, bro. One of these years, I'll get out there and scare again. But it'll it'll be waiting for it, man. I can't wait. Now. And I I know I know a big anniversary is coming, and yeah, you maybe. know, <laughs> yeah, the mid fifty. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see where I land. It, it, Truthfully, it won't be for a while till I get back out there. But trust me when I say the itch is always there. The itch it's is always, always there, there, man. It'll never leave. We just need we need we need a we just need one possum party. That's all we need. <laughs> all we need. Hey, man. Well, if I if I'm a cast lead, there will be a night where I get to go out and party. So you'll see me. You're just gonna see. Hey, it. we'll hey, be there. You're, you're gonna see a text on the United Horror Instagram. Just be like, hey. Uh, Little birdie told me someone might be out there tonight. <laughs> just saying. I'll just, yeah, Can't confirm I'll just or deny it, with. but hey. All it'll plans be, will be canceled. It'll be the, the yeah, the party, the party is in town. You guys have an invitation. That, the that's freaking, what that will say. The entire night is going to be me and Sammy trying to keep up with Aaron with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Dude, uh, two nights, two years ago when I went out for that one night, man, my first 30 minutes, I was gassed. I hadn't <laughs> done it in like three years, and I was like, Oh, I forgot how this is. And yeah. you know, everyone's out there just smoking me. And then I catch my groove and it was fun, man. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. I, the, the, the biggest thing for us, I think this year is uh, obviously we want all the haunts to open, uh, yeah. but you know, we're not going to be mad if they don't, cause we completely understand circumstances. Um, mm-hmm. But we are every day just praying that they, they do open and uh, that we can all get back together as a community and be one again and, yeah. and go to a safe place we call home, honestly. Um, yeah, I hope so too. Again and... I hope so too. I hope we don't get a bunch of uh, throughout. Through, I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh very hard if if throughout the the California, let's say, because we're the ones that really didn't have a Halloween. There, I'm gonna laugh if I see a bunch of uh, hospital or mental hospital themed haunts pop up because I feel <laughs> like it's easy to get away with wearing a surgical mask and being in an insane right. asylum. That'd be very funny if I saw a lot of them popping up. Like, oh, I see the theme going on here. Yep. Everyone's just wearing a mask. Okay, yep, everyone's just that. wearing a mask. It's a theme. I get it. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, that's like, the theme of 2021. We're just going to do uh, hospital mazes. Yeah, listen, as long as we can get scared, that's all that matters. That's you know? all that matters. I'm for yeah, it. Well, there's, two things, there's two things we need to do. Well, there's three things that Sam needs. Eat. Okay. Sleep. Sleep. Yeah. Get scared. <laughs> Repeat. No, there Sammy. <laughs> there, there's a shirt for you too, right there. Man. We actually made a shirt this past haunt season called. It was. Uh, it was based off a shirt that Brock Lesnar had. It was uh, "Eat, Sleep, Conquer, Repeat," and ours was uh-huh. "Eat, Sleep, Don't Get Scared, Repeat." <laughs> well, I want to get scared. He wants. To I couldn't wear that shirt because the bride still exists, <laughs> and that's not something I can fuck with, man. <laughs> Eat, sleep, run from the bride. Repeat. <laughs> so uh, about. A couple of weeks ago, uh, when I had our little family get together, we like an, we have an ornament painting party every year, basically. But uh, I was texting, uh, or I was d- uh, DMing with Pasta a couple nights before that, right? And we were just shooting the shit, talking. And uh, 
she posted up this question and everything on their Instagram page or whatever, like, you know, ask me a question, or whatever. My buddy James, my really good friend James, has always told her, hey, like from years ago, hey, is there any way I can be the bride for just a night and wear the dress? Like just one night, dude. <laughs> and every year she's like, no, or like, you know, whatever it's years. Yeah. You know, but um, so he posted on, he commented on her thing. It was like, hey, like, what would it take for me to be the bride one night? And she's like, you're going to have to steal one of the bride's candles. So he comes over to my house for the holiday party and he goes, dude, don't you have one of the candles? And I was like, <laughs> fuck, I do have one of the candles. So we go up into my, in my closet where I have all my haunt, like memorabilia. Right. Pull it out. I, I don't know why I have that. It was a scary process of how I got that, but I have it. <laughs> And uh, we turned it on, and it flickers and everything. And we sent a picture to her, and she's like, "Fuck, fuck." <laughs> <laughs> Was not expecting that. <laughs> so, Pasta, if you're listening to this, 2021, you promised James <laughs> one night, baby. Get a wig, you know. <laughs> yeah, put on the run. Yeah, he's going big time. Going, and big. he'll probably still scare the shit out of me because it's a bride. Yeah, and, like, and he'll fuck with me too, just like <laughs> Glow does. God, I love her, but she's just terrible, man. She's That's very. Terrible. I will say though, I will say she's very terrifying. But with France, with her, you know, he he'll take your eyes because he's a he's a big guy. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. And she'll just come up out of nowhere. You'd be like, oh, my yeah, bad. Literally hide behind France. <laughs> she, it's it's perfect. It's a perfect duo, man. <laughs> it's like he he, yeah. he he see you see him, and then she comes out of nowhere like an RKO, and you're like, excuse what? <laughs> yeah, Where'd that come from? <laughs> watch out! Watch out! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, don't see her until she hits you. <laughs> Aaron, it's been a pleasure yeah. talking with you again, buddy. Uh, it really yeah, man. has, man. I, 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 I always say it. You're more than welcome to come back anytime. Um, hopefully next time we do sit down with you, hopefully in person. Yeah. Um, have a great time, man. Uh, anything you want to plug social media wise where they can find you? I mean, I, not really. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I didn't prepare for that. I, my, all my shit's on private. It's just like friends and like family. Friends and family. So, Sorry, peeps. Uh, I don't really know. But follow these guys. Like these guys. Share these guys. The whole nine. Buy oh, these guys stuff. merch. You know, uh, buy buy uh, buy their shirts. You know, buy their orange slices. Our soccer team needs new jerseys. Yeah. Buy the whole thing, guys. Uh, you know, keep keep the lights on the horn uh, at, at their uh, at their platform. I don't want to miss your platform. So. Um, because I know you guys have different. Uh, like, your, is your YouTube called something different from your Instagram? No, it's the same no, thing. it's. Let me tell you what it is. Go for it, Sammy. Twitter, Twitter, has a character limit. So on oh, Twitter, okay. we are, we are Knights of War. But okay. on Instagram, we are the Knights of War. Okay. And on YouTube, we are the Knights of War. Okay. I don't want to plug so, it wrong. <laughs> so no, nah, don't worry about it. I everyone, listen to every Sammy. Time. I plug listen it wrong to- every time. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone has just like a happy holiday season and they look up toward the positives in 2021 and, and, and always have a party, whether it's at home and quarantining or out in the mountains camping or whatever it is. So that's pretty much all I can think of. If I can end it on this, I'm just saying one last time, Selena Gomez, hit your boy up. Yeah, that too. Everyone DM her. Everyone flood her mentions. You're like, hey, Aaron, Aaron Frame. Frame. Just like, right. just go, just go check them out. Just see if, if you're interested, hit him with a DM. Uh, yeah. Even, even DM him, he, he'll, he'll be happy with that. You know. I just need one date. That's all I need. Just one date. One I already date got to prove it. Out. He's got it all out, he's, dude. He's ready. I already got it ready. He's I'm good. good. Five minutes. That's all he asks. Five minutes. Five Give minutes. Five minutes, and he and that, he'll guarantee you the rest of his life for him. That might be more than enough in some situations, but right there, I, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take five, five minutes. minutes, man. Selena, everybody, Aaron Frame, Selena Gomez. It's going to be the next big couple in Hollywood. That's what it is, man. Thank you guys for having me. Yes, no problem. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button with that bell notification. Be aware every time we put up a new video. Um, And like Sammy said, follow us on all of our social media. Check out the merch. Aaron, thank you so much for being on the show, and we will hopefully talk to you very soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, And we love each and every one of you. Stay safe out there. Uh, And we will see you guys next week. Peace.